Tabombegi argues that AIDS, the S stands for syndrome, and a syndrome is a collection of diseases. And he says he does not understand how a virus can cause a group of diseases. When he speaks about HIV, which is a virus, he doesn't understand how a virus can cause a syndrome, which is a group of diseases. Because we're all taught that HIV causes AIDS. But what does that really mean? Back in the day, like everyone else, I, I thought the old man was crazy. I really did. I bought into the media stories and I believed he was reckless in asking the questions he asked. I laughed <laughs> like everyone else at Uman uh, Tushawalala Simang, who was the Minister of Health at the time, who was recommending that people eat vegetables and fruits and live a healthy life. She was nicknamed Dr. Beetroot. Everyone had a fat laugh. Zapiro or Shapiro, the famous cartoonist in South Africa, would constantly make caricatures of her uh, as a beetroot. We had the COVID lockdown. And even before South Africa went into a hard lockdown, I started doing the research into the coronavirus of 2019. And the data didn't make sense. The little bit of science that I know, the little bit of science that a lot of us are taught, goes in a certain fashion. And when you encounter a disease, an illness, you normally follow a routine. You've got a virus, sure. You claim that it is uh, transmitted via saliva, maybe sweat, some kind of fluids. That's why you need to wear a mask to prevent people's fluids coming onto you you spreading those fluids if you're touching something with your hands that has an infected fluid somewhere and then you touch your nose or your mouth you might get infected that's normally like influenza that's how flu is transmitted but the insanity of the pandemic and the stigmas were insane and the data never looked so much more crazier than influenza the common cold flu and just like the common cold if you had a strong immune system could quickly recover people had to be isolated within institutions people that were wearing these heavy uniforms as if they're going to deal with a toxic waste they were treating you as if you had some type of very very serious disease we don't know what we were dealing with but even when we didn't know the data itself didn't suggest something so diabolical and yet we had the hard lockdown the whole world went berserk economies crashed people lost their jobs people lost their businesses People couldn't bury their loved ones with dignity. People started staying away from each other. And, 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 and. Here we are today. <laughs> no lockdowns, no masks, no going berserk. Apparently, because people have been vaccinated. But why are you vaccinated? Because this thing self-cures. You can isolate for seven days. And within that seven days, you will have recovered just like flu. Because your immune system will have fought. A virus hampers. Your immune system. Your immune system is your body's protection. It fights. So when you get sick, it fights whatever sickness you have. That's why you sneeze to expel, you know, that stuff. Whether it's bacteria or whether it's some other infection. You, you cough, you sneeze, you drink all these liquids to flush your body. You obviously take um, medication to manage the symptoms. Not to heal the systems. Cough syrup doesn't cure flu. It just soothes the throat because it's got this nice little syrup soothes the throat so that when you cough it's not as scratchy the hi virus attacks your immune system when your immune system is weak other illnesses out there it's easier for them to come into you and you struggle to fight them out that's why we speak about things like cd4 counts and white blood cells etc they're meant to fight. It's your body's protection. And the HIV virus is meant to impair that. We're not asking important questions like, does it impair it forever? Is it possible to have a virus forever? The HPV virus, which is also apparently sexually transmitted, like HIV, apparently is in over 90% of people. Apparently, according to data from scientists and medical practitioners. And it only comes out now and then. It's similar to herpes. There are people that have dormant herpes. There are people that have dormant STIs. 
that only come out when maybe you've been in contact with certain people or when your immune system has been compromised. How can it be that a virus causes TB meningitis? It doesn't. It doesn't. All it does is it weakens your immune system. And then you can contract all these other things, of which in South Africa, tuberculosis is still the highest killer. And yet there's never been a pandemic or a shutdown or a wearing of masks, etc. Tabon Beg is right to raise these questions again. He should have maybe rolled out the antiretrovirals at the time. Sir Ramaphosa rolled out the COVID vaccines when it was time so that he will not be judged by the whole world. But some of us are judging him now because we're saying you didn't ask the right questions. Tabon Beg back in the day asked the right questions, but we were not ready and we dragged him. And I apologize. I apologize to Tabon Beg. I was young. I was ignorant. I still believed that the media was king and they were right. I still believe that if someone said they were a medical doctor, they were right. That if someone said they work for the Medical Association of South Africa, they were right. Someone worked for the health, World Health Organization, they were right. But I realized they can be wrong and they can be funded by various pharmaceuticals and other power brokers that want the world to move in a certain way. We need to go back and ask those questions. What is HIV? What is AIDS? Is HIV really sexually transmitted? What does it do to the body? Can it be cured? If your immune system has been compromised, how do you boost it? Is it through the way you eat? Is it through the, the things you drink? Getting enough sunlight? Important questions that we should have asked back then, but we didn't. We condomize today, we abstain, we still have the stigma of, oh, they're HIV positive, stay away from them. But we find out that you can be HIV positive and not pass it to your child. Again, it's a virus. It means you're not transmitting the virus to your child. Doctors can get infected, but then if they take certain meds uh, very quickly thereafter, they can protect themselves. Can this virus be isolated in your body and removed? Dr. CB died and he was saying he could cure, cure HIV AIDS. He said he can cure so many other diseases. If they're in the blood, what if we drain the blood? Like Lance Armstrong <laughs> of Tour de France who would go through these blood, tra blood transfusions where he cleans out the blood with the steroids and then he, re he puts back his blood with the steroids so that it's not picked up. Do we really understand our bodies? Do the people that we call medical officers understand our bodies? Or are they dictated to by textbooks that are funded by people with agendas that want to sell certain products, that want to maybe kill certain people, that maybe want us to panic and want to shift the world in a certain way? Men do not contract HIV easily because they secrete or excrete sperm. The women contract the HIV because they take in the fluids that are infected. So men could go and sleep with 10 women that are HIV positive and not contracted. A woman can sleep once with a man that's HIV positive and contracted. Are we having these detailed conversations? Because sex is such an important part of life. It's how we create life. <laughs> it's how we create human beings. We need to have the conversation and Tabon Beg is being asked to apologize again and I'm saying, I think now's the time. We have ARVs, we have all this medication, we have certain knowledge now and we have social media and we can have conversations. Let's have the conversations around HIV and AIDS. Yeah. Please join my Telegram group, Telegram channel. I've created a Telegram channel uh, as an alternative space for me to share my thoughts. I'll drop the link at the bottom. Please join as a member on my YouTube channel uh, so that I can make a bit of money for the work that I do. And I'm going to be trying to host more gatherings where we can speak and converse and sculpt the type of mindsets that we want, sculpt and create the type of spaces that we want to live in and stop being dictated to by foreign social media, uh, captured mainstream media by certain schooling systems and the capitalist system that has become very, very toxic. It's within our abilities to do so. It's within our abilities to do so. Let's learn and grow together. Let's question and find the answers. And let's create a better world. Happy Friday, by the way. It's Friday. It's end of the month. Tomorrow we're going to October. I hope you enjoyed your spring month. Uh, if you are in South Africa, it's African New Year. And I hope you enjoyed it. Love you guys very much. I hope you'll be blessed. Please make sure that you work a full day today. And don't bunk at 12. And don't leave work early. Let's put in the work. Love you guys very much, man. Cheers.